Hi, this is Shibana Kulza here at the Fort Smith Regional Art Museum. I am here for my solo exhibition, which revolves around the traditional dubutta. A dubutta is a South Asian scarf, and all of my work carries a theme of, of fabrics throughout it. And my work revolves around identity and immigration. I immigrated here to America in 2008, and we arrived here with lots of visa restrictions. Out of sheer boredom, I discovered my passion for painting. When I did eventually get my green card, um, I launched my art in 2017 in Northwest Arkansas. I had my very first show. And that gave me the confidence and courage to have a look at my parents' generation and immigration. Uh, they had immigrated to England in the 1970s from Pakistan, and they were only in their 20s. And they had moved from a non-English speaking country to an English speaking country with very little to no English speaking skills. I had moved to America from an English speaking country and I had struggled. So I decided to look back at their journey and have a look at some of the, the, the community that I got to know and, and have a look at their journeys and see how I could put that into my artwork. Well, I did say there was many stories behind um, the portraits that are in this exhibit. And one of the stories I'm going to share with you is of the oil painting Ustad. And that is the Urdu word for teacher. And Urdu is the official language spoken in Pakistan. But Ustad was um, inspired by my very own Urdu school teacher. So growing up in England, uh, Monday to Friday, I went through the typical English um, education system. And then at weekends, my parents would send us to Urdu school. So we learned the native tongue. And I just remember thinking back to my Urdu school teacher, who obviously wore a dubatta to every single uh, class that she taught. And again, this was another immigrant that had come to England with very little skills, but she made use of the skills that she did have and she created her own job. And that's something I think about now coming through my own journey of coming to the US. And, and going through the immigration system, but also living in the UK as a first generation immigrant and growing up amongst um, my elders who'd, who'd immigrated from Pakistan and having a look at some of the, the changes or the transitions that what they went through. One of the other stories I wanted to share was my uh, first full self portrait I did, and that's Dabatta number one. And as a portrait artist, um, it's been great studying other people's features um, and capturing those on canvas. Doing my own for the very first time was quite a daunting experience. And many other artists and photographers will tell you this, capturing yourself is a whole different thing. Um, Dupatta number one was created also looking at a, a role model, which is Benazir Bhutto, and she was the first and the only to date prime minister, female prime minister um, for Pakistan. And she ran for two terms and you will see lots of press on her. And if you, if you Google her and search her, she's always wearing a dabatta and she looks crisp and sharp and she's got her head covered. And there was a woman who could, who could wear the traditional scarf and go and lead the country through two terms. And she's been a strong um, inspiration and a role model for many people. And I wanted to capture that um, through this particular portrait. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Fort Smith Regional Art Museum, all of my sponsors that have helped to make this exhibit possible. They are Arc Best, uh, Merrill Lynch Hambury Group and Mercy Hospital. I just wanted to say thank you for making this possible. Also to the Fort Smith art community and the community in general, everybody's been so welcoming of my work. Um, I really look forward to sharing my culture and my art work with you all and the community. So please visit as and when you can. It would be great to get feedback. It would be great to see lots of visitors come here to the museum. So I hope I can catch you here. Thank you.